Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Late Night Part 20... 35? We're at Part 35! Where was I going with Part 20? Anyway, here we are back, and we are in the mansion that we were building off in the last time, so pretty much I fixed it up, and... Oh, what, what, I'm forgetting something. Um, there may be something a little different in this video. Um, the fact that I'm looking at a camera can hint towards that. It's face cam today. Yeah, I figured I didn't look like a complete drag queen slash mess. So, yeah, I look like this today and I look okay and you guys beg for face cam. So here's face cam. Here's your gift or my gift to you all in this part. So anyway, we moved into a mansion, back to what I was talking about before, and pretty much um, we are now living here in this mansion that I'm going to show you, but I want to show you also Cassie's glamorous new makeover to fit with the new house. Um, and here she is walking through the gates. I thought this was a nice little way to start off the part. Her work walking, work, 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 work. Walking into the gates of our new mansion. So I'm gonna do this back to front if someone decided to skip the last part and not watch it for some reason Which you probably should because I get deep um, Pretty much what I did was I built up this mansion and here it is right here AKA I didn't actually build it. I kind of just like redecorated everything on the inside <laughs> Me taking credit for things I didn't do anyway This is what it looks like I kind of fixed up the backyard and made the backyard the way I wanted it to look but we'll get to that after we get past the first floor so um, Again for those who skipped the last part. This is what the home looks like I'm just gonna put the walls up so that we can see and as soon as you enter and you turn to the left here is just the grand dining room So that is what that looks like just nothing fancy um, just that um, anyway, continuing on to the kitchen, here's a baby seat for when Spider-Man turns into a toddler. Turn around a little bit, just, just your regular kitchen. Um, again, I didn't want to go all out on this, I know I could have made this look like all high tech and stuff like that, but I think our sims, even though they are glamorous, they are also like simple and kind of humble, so I did that. And if you turn up the stairs over here and go upstairs, we have a little apartment for cheese pizza. So um, if you turn around and go around here, um, I tried to make this look as teenagery slash I can't really decorate as possible. So this is Cheese Pizza's little area for himself. He has ramen noodles because of course he's not going to cook. I mean, we shouldn't expect that. His sink is all the way over here. A table with a chairs that don't match. He uses his bed as a couch as well. And <laughs> that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like. And I barely touched the bathroom back here, um, but I added in a shower. So if you go back downstairs, and go down one of these two hallways, choose the side you'd like to go down, there is um, a half bathroom. I say half very lightly because this is kind of huge, but it doesn't have a shower, so that's considered a half bath. And you're in the really, really grand living room. Of course, we still have to have our stage area with our Sims instruments because they do want to play when they invite people over for parties. We have this huge, huge TV. Um, from The Sims 3 Showtime, so if you are looking for that, it came with that expansion pack. And then it's our living room. I know I didn't put too much in here and I didn't put glamorous furniture, but again, I wanted it to still be a family home considering our Sims have kids and stuff like that. So that's where you have all of that coming into play. Um, just a little jukebox to be simple. We don't want a high def like little stereo system. It just didn't look right in this room. I tried it. It didn't work. Um, just a bookcase for Auden's books to go into whenever she writes them, gets them in the mail and just shoves them into that bookcase because she's too lazy to walk up the stairs to the bookcases that are in her room. Yeah, that's where that goes. And then we finally turn into the backyard. You enter through these, or I guess you exit, because you're going to the back of the house. That would make sense. Okay, and then you turn this way and it's pretty much, here we have Ruben's bar since we couldn't fit it anywhere in the house. I threw it into the backyard, into this huge outdoor kitchen that we have for party slash entertainment purposes. Along with that, we have a hot tub. We finally own a hot tub. Holy Jesus, thank you. Um, I said that really weird. <laughs> anyway, we have a hot tub now. Um, our pool is rather large. We have a slide which came with Island Paradise for those who are wondering so the kids can go ahead and use that. A little dining area, lounge chairs, and just um, a baseball and a soccer ball so the kids can have like grass space to play without tripping on concrete and killing themselves. Um, then when you go up the grand stairs, which are over here, um, you enter, there's just like a big painting up here. It looked kind of plain back there, so I decided to add that. Um, and here we have our hallway, which is really nothing special. 
Um, if you turn to your left over here, we have Spider-Man's room. I know this looks like a little boy's room, but it just had to be Spider-Man's room. I know she's a girl, and a lot of you guys wanted me to call her Spider-Girl, but I want her to be Spider-Man. <laughs> I just want her to be Spider-Man, so like, when it's a roll call in school, it'll just be like, hey, um, Spider-Man? And like, the teacher thinks they're being trolled, but no, she, she'd raise her hand, she's like, yeah, it's, it's me. Blame my parents for that. I feel like that. My name's Glacelius, and it hurts every time. Like, when there's a pause in roll call, and you see the teacher struggling, like, that's when I know it's me, because they just don't even know how to say it. It's it's a mess. But anyway, just we have the Spider-Man poster over there. Um, because it is Spider-Man, I added some kind of, like, superhero thing that came with um, the movie stuff pack, I think it was. Um, so there that is. We have a bookcase for reading time, etc, etc. And just cute. Um, the kids can actually use this. This is a custom content piece. I don't remember where I got it. But um, if you have the walker from Aurora Skies, you need that to get this to work. So you have to download both of them. Um, and then come over here. And I guess from the pizza oven, we can already guess whose room this is. And I decided to add the cookies there for a little touch. This is Auden and Ruben's room. Um, the R stands for Rodden, which is their ship name. And yeah, I incorporated lots of Auden in here as well. So like the girly, nice, normal touches are Auden's. But when you see the cookies and the pizza oven and the random refrigerator in their room, that's when you know it was Ruben. Turn around over here, we just have a desk, more bookshelves for more of the books that she'll write in her um, lifetime, and a little bathroom that goes around back here. And I've been introducing this house for like six whole minutes. Oh my god, this needs to progress quicker. But yeah, there's nothing special about this bathroom. I honestly barely edited it. Um, what you guys saw in the last video was me doing most of the upstairs. So this is the girl's bathroom, nice and little whimsical. I think it's- oh, I would like to take a dump in here. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But I would love to. If this were my bathroom, I'd be a happy kid. Like, shower in here, I'd lay in that bathtub taking a bath all day. Because it's, this is an awesome room. I would take my laptop and just sit in this corner and use it. That would be my life. Um, coming over here is the um, bedroom for the girls. So over here we have unicorns area, which is nice, glamorous, great, takes up half the room. We have like these curtain separators to separate the size of the room. And then we have a play area. And this is a room I feel that they can grow into. I know I ship them off to boarding school, but they do have to come back at some point. So it makes sense. And then we come over here and in this little corner is Hamilton's bedroom. So again, nothing formal and fancy here. She's hiding a calendar behind the curtains counting the days until she turns into a teenager and can leave this home and yeah um that's just her bed space which i actually think is kind of cute i love how vintage it looks and honestly i'd be so happy if that were my bed space i mean i still have like this awesome view outside my window so i wouldn't complain if i were her she can watch people be rushed into the hospital that's great <laughs> anyway, um, and then here's just like a play space. So um, we have a play chest in front of Unicorn's bed and then over here we also have um, tons of stuff to go to um, for them to play with. Enter in the other room over here through this entrance and it is Cassie and Ethan's room. They really got the glamour on this time. Last house I kind of got lazy when decorating but here I took tons of stuff from Supernatural, added some golds and blacks and it just looks so regal and I'm really happy with the way it came out. So this is their bed space and of course Cassie's probably going to be sleeping here by herself because if we turn around here is an altar for Ethan as a vampire to sleep in. This altar itself doesn't come with late night so sucks to suck. Um, there is the other one that we showed in the last part which did come with late night that you can use but um, this this is the one that comes with Supernatural so if you want more vampire stuff I would definitely get Supernatural. I doubted Supernatural with all my life and it ended up being one of my favorite like expansion packs now so says a lot we kept this uh, Marilyn Monroe picture on the wall here I have just a mirror and this for when Cassie gets her little Oscar award thingy when you get to like the top level of being an actress which I cannot wait for and then here is their bathroom and that is pretty much the entire house so we can actually get continuing on with our gameplay mm -hmm. um, I don't know if anyone's gonna be going to work today Cassie apparently is um, but before that Something I've been wanting to do for such a long time is get these Sims cars. Like, it needs to happen. So I'm going to turn this to nighttime, add some lighting in this bath- and this bathroom, in this garage. There is, like, no wallpaper in here. It's kind of a mess. So I'm going to steal the wallpaper that we have in this area. 
and it's kind of like wood paneling but we'll make do let me see make sure i got all the walls yes i did and then we're gonna add a parking space so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um i think i can add two so i can get more cars right yes i can good so i'm thinking that we can get she's pizza a car because he's going to be turning into a teenager soon and we can teach him how to do that but we have to be a little conservative with the amount of money we're spending i feel like cassie would have something like i'm gonna have to go with alexis yes yeah, she is rather glamorous but she needs also that space in the back for the twins so this would be her car this lexus rx crossover i used to want this car so bad Ugh so so bad you don't even understand that was like my dream car um let me see i feel like ruben would have this rock town car but we're gonna have to like change around the color so i'm gonna make it either orange or red let's see real quick we're gonna try the red first i kind of dig the red we're gonna go for the red so that's gonna be cassie's this is gonna be ruben's and then we'll get auden like a minivan probably <laughs> i don't know what would what would auden drive I really don't know so we're gonna take that he's gonna take this car um, and now to get the other two vehicles again not sure if I want to get cheese pizza one just yet but we'll see I feel like Auden would have a Land Rover but like an old Land Rover that'd be her thing so we're gonna get her not one in black since Cassie already has that but um, I kind of like it in the green you guys are probably thinking ew green cars are ugly and usually I agree the same but I feel like Auden doesn't really care about what vehicle she has, and this just fits her. That's her personality, and I think, I don't know, I think it works. Um, now let's see. And then the last car, which would be Ethan's. We actually have some money to blow now. So Ethan would have something like this. Yes. Oh my gosh. I really like this car. So that's going to be Ethan's. This is going to be Auden's. And then there we go. We have all the vehicles that we need to have. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. Uh. Okay, so now we're going to make this her preferred vehicle. Um, I probably should have done that with the other two people, but whatever. Sucks to suck. And now we have cars. So it's going to be so much easier to get around town. You don't know how long I've been waiting for that. Um, for us to have the money to blow like that. But now we're going to get into actual gameplay very late in the part, I know. Um, what's what's the button to put the walls down? Oh, there we go. I already did it. Oops. Alright, so now that everyone's coming into the house, let's hope Ethan decides to stay inside because I don't want him to die. Um, and I want Auden to go ahead and put Spider-Man away into her crib. Notice the little webs inside the crib. I'm so creative, I know. And then I need to start claiming the beds, actually, before they start going into beds that are not theirs. So we're going to set the bed ownership for Auden over here. Um, and then I guess Ruben will automatically sleep there as well. Um, we'll set the bed over here for Cassie. So Cassie, um, the bed over here will be Hamilton's. So set bed ownership. Or not Hamilton. Jeez, I'm going to get that mixed up forever. Um, that's Unicorns. This one will be Hamilton's. Um, over here is Cheese Pizza, so set ownership, Cheese Pizza Davidson, and I think that's it, right? That's everyone? Hmm, I don't know, but now that we have this big house, what I've been super excited for is throwing parties. So, um, his birthday is- oh god, he's missing school. Boy, go to school! Ah, uh, no, it's- you know what? It's his birthday today, screw that. Cheese Pizza doesn't go to school on his birthday. He is- he can't go in the hot tub because he's a kid. Well, dang it. He's gonna go slide down the water slide and he's gonna have a chill day because this is his day and he deserves it. Um, but we are going to have- let's see- Auden throw a party for her, I guess, technically stepson. And we're gonna throw a party in the house because now we're not gonna have the elevator problems that we had in the apartments. So we can have a nice party here. And actually, you know what, Hamilton? Um, and you- okay, um... I'm- I think I can just click the X button, right? Yes, I can. Good, good. So, um, we are going to throw a birthday party at around 2 p.m. Because no one's going to school today. It's going to be casual attire. We're going to invite our faves. So, I thought we had friendships with all of these people, so I'm kind of confused. Oh, I think this is coming from, like, Auden's end, right? Ever since I installed the certain NROS mod, it just, like, goes insane, but... People we do want to invite, of course, Alan Stanley. I gotta look for Harry Marks. He's gotta be in here somewhere. 
So Harry, Harry, Harry. We are not gonna invite the Littlers because I technically stole this house from them. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna invite just like the main important people. There's Peyton, and then we should invite some kids. So Sebastian Stryker, um, Suzuki, because I know um, we remember when our little child here was hitting on him. There's Marsha, and where's Auden? Where's the mini Auden? Why is mini Auden not on this list? Oh, come on, we have to invite Auden. Like, that's not fair. Her name was Auden Smith. Oh, God, she turned into a teenager! Oh, God, no wonder I couldn't find her. Okay, so it's casual attire. We have all the people we want to invite. Awesome. So that party will start at about 2 p.m. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select a birthday cake now, because why the heck not? And we'll put it outside on one of our counters in our awesome, awesome outdoor kitchen. Which, I love this. This looks so nice. I wish I had an outdoor kitchen, but, you know, poor. So, that will be his birthday cake, because I don't think... The other birthday cakes came with, um... With this. Okay, yeah. Handcrafted birthday cake. But I think I'm gonna get the regular one. Screw the bakery set. Hmm, we don't need that. That's too fancy. And one thing I do want to do... Services. Call for services. And I'm pretty sure we can hire, like, certain, like, acts... So we can probably have like an acrobat or something along those means. And God, I feel like there's something on the side of my face. So ignore me, Scar. I forgot that this webcam was on. That's weird. I I'm uncomfortable all of a sudden. You've been watching me. Should we get a magician or an acrobat? I feel like an acrobat's like cooler. So we're going to hire an acrobat for his party. Or we can get a DJ. I think a DJ wouldn't be like the worst idea. Um, so, Acrobat or DJ? DJs are cheaper and we're kind of low on money, so... Um, why can't I... Why? Ugh, because I don't have the DJ thing right now. Let me buy that first. So we're gonna go into buy mode. Uh, it's under entertainment and parties, right? Isn't it under parties? Or I think it's under electronics, under miscellaneous, I think so. We're gonna have to look for that. Where are the DJ booths? Where do I find DJ booths? Like the heck? Let me filter through Showtime. It'll probably make my life easier. So, Showtime. None of that. Oh, here we go. We have some DJ booths, but we can only afford the makeshift one. Come on! Alright, we're gonna have to sell something. I know we bought a whole bunch of glamorous cars, but... We can't really afford much, so we're gonna have to sell something. We can't sell the pizza oven. Oh, but that would be all the- m We need to sell something unnecessary. What's apparently worth a whole bunch of money that we don't really need? Our TV. Oh. I don't want to sell a TV. Screw this, we're hiring an acrobat. Like, I could get the crappy DJ booth, but we need cheese pizza to have the best birthday possible, so... Um, we're gonna call for services and then call for service again so we can order that pizza. Um, so we're gonna do that. And I realize I should probably order the pizza later. Oops. So, oh, look at Unicorn actually doing her homework. I hope the kids don't leave for, for boarding school too soon. I don't know when exactly they're supposed to leave, but I want them to be here for the party. So we're gonna hire an acrobat. Okay, and so, okay, I'll roll in in a couple of hours. You'll be amazed by my feats awesome so that'll be a thing and it's a good thing ethan is working on his base skill without me telling him because he kind of needs it so he's going to be working on that skill so he can master that soon and then cassie's at work right cassie you should probably be on your way to work now honey thank you um although she's not in, in the best mood would working hard be nice i mean she'll be on time for the birthday party and Ruben, it says he has work in an hour, but he's finally going to throw in that towel and quit work. I'm going to let him do that. And look how much walking space we have. We're going to have so much less, like, rooting issues. I'm so excited to play with this house, to be honest with you. But cheese pizza. Swim that life away, honey. Swim that life away. Um, let's see, what else can you do? Can you, like... It says epic swim, but you can snorkel, apparently. You can do that. And Ruben has quit his job! Ha ha, yes, awesome. Oh? <laughs> okay, cheese pizza. I I don't know what you just did there, but... That's cool. 
Quick question, what is the point of this soccer ball? Like, I can't really do anything with it. Unless it's like adult- I swear, if you're flirting, they're not flirting for once, thank goodness, but we can play soccer, so... But it's between adults. That sucks. But we're gonna sell these hot dogs that we have in our inventory for some strange reason. We have white flowers. Oh yeah, we have the um, flowers that I forgot to put in their room that are in our family inventory. So let me go ahead and pull this out. We have the flowers, um, the holy grail rocks, which I now know where to put them. We're gonna put them in our kind of empty hallway over here. And what else do we have? We have a few more things that we can put around the house. There was something else and I feel like I'm forgetting it. I think it's this picture of Ethan and Cassie. Yes, so I can, I would put this in the room, but it's kind of childish. So we can put it in the bathroom. That makes so much more sense. Yay. <laughs> That's so dumb. But we're gonna just throw it in their bathroom because I don't know where else to put it. And we're gonna fast forward till it's time for the party, which I think people will be arriving soon. Oh, and here's the acrobat. Hello, so what is your name? I wanna have everyone come and watch. We have Jaina Middleton, so why don't you come over here and watch her? Um, and then as soon as you turn to a teenager, you can hit on her. Don't worry, don't worry we have your best favorite in mind. Cheese pizza, we do. Um, the reason he can actually woo- uh, not- oh god. I was gonna say woohoo with her, but I mean, the reason he can flirt with her even though she's a young adult and he's a teenager is because I have a mod called the Woohooer mod, which is like holy grail of most mods, which makes me excited. But everyone's gonna come over here and watch her do her magic. I see, he looks unimpressed. Look at Cheese Pizza. He's like, oh, I give that to you, but I doubt they're that sharp. Oh, look, you dropped them. Ha! <laughs> yes, he's like, I told you. This girl don't know what she doing. We should have gotten that DJ. DJ Julov, hire me for all your parties. I can imagine that would have been great. But she's like, oh, look, Hamilton, you look awesome. You remind me. Of Is she taking pictures of Hamilton and Ethan? Dude, creepy. But here we are, we're inviting people over. We have Peyton Suzuki and we have Lenny Shutter, the paparazzi who can't come in because we now have gates. Mm-hmm. All right, but we're gonna turn on the radio. So turn that on. Um, Ruben, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing, but did you come in here holding a baby? Oh, she came in here holding food because like, I know she's a babysitter and I thought maybe she brought the kid on the job. And I was about to say, honey, that's not how things work around here. But everyone's bringing in food, which is really nice because we kind of forgot to order that pizza. And here we have this act. So um, we have research acting role that we can apparently do right now on Cassie, under Cassie. So I think we're supposed to do it right now. And I'm hoping that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just making sure, just making sure. But yes, all, all the kids should come watch. Um, I want him to blow the the candles soon but at the same time like I don't know I don't know if it's the right time yet but you know what everyone's then gonna decide to leave so everyone's stopping in now Cassie doesn't have to really be here for this to be quite honest with you she's gonna be home way too late so we're gonna blow the candles now before the girls leave for boarding school and I am going to have him come over here blow out candles and we're going to do cheese pizza Davidson so cheese pizza Davidson is having a birthday party come one and all yes yes baby boo have your birthday and turn into that teenager that you've always wanted to be oh and his homework is like gonna be really low so hopefully we're able to choose a skill if not I'll just use cheats I don't really care <laughs> I love how I said that's so concerned, but then I'm like, but you know what, I guess I don't really care, because I can just, like, modify it. Oops. So, we're gonna have him go ahead and do this. And, oh, poor Spider-Man's not feeling too well. Hopefully someone will go feed him after we throw the, the actual little birthday here. But here we have Sebastian Stryker, Hamilton, getting all excited. Everyone. Come on, guys. It's not that hard to walk outside. Come on. You can do it! The only people who were out here for him to blow out his candles were the unimportant people. Only Hamilton. Hamilton was the only one to witness this because everyone got stuck at the door. And I thought the rooting issues were over, but I guess not. Here we go. Now a few more important people are outside. I just want Reuben and- Reuben. Where's Reuben? Is Reuben trying to come watch? I think he is. Poor thing. He's gonna miss his kid aging up. He wants to see his clones slowly turn into him. Come on. 
And here he is as a teenager. So, Cheese Pizza has reached his teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this sim, or make this, a difficult period for any sim. He can now join the workforce by getting a part-time job, blah, blah, blah. And he joined, got the genius trait. Um, but guess what? I guess he really didn't because, um, just, um, where, where's... Why, why can't I just change his traits? Whatever, we're gonna go into create a sim. Usually it says something like modify traits, but that's weird, it's not letting me. Maybe I had to like do it through his actual sim. But now that this is loading up, oh sweet god, we gotta fix them brows, honey, cause you was not looking cute and you have Ethan's old hair. You sure you're not Ethan's child? Are you sure like they didn't bring like Ethan's DNA to the hospital instead? You sure? Anyway, we're gonna just change a few things here that really urgently need help, like now. So we're gonna make them eyelashes just a little bit longer because it looks a little sickening. We're gonna match the root hair. We're gonna make them a little less violent looking. So something like this. Yes, there we go. Those are Ruben's eyebrows. Get it right, honey. Get it right. Can I give you facial hair? That doesn't make it look like you're trying too hard to be a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're not giving you facial hair, dearie. Sorry, that was actually very uncomfortable for me. So, oh, what was this? What was this? Oh, honey, no. No, no, no. What can we give you that doesn't make you look like you're deranged? I know Ethan has this hair as a certain type of day, so what can we give you? I kind of dig this just a little bit and like maybe I can give him like a swaggy outfit. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Oh, what about this? No, that seems too anon, Kyle. No thanks. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about any of these hairstyles. What is this? No, no, I do not want to give him weave. Stop. Okay, thank you. I don't know how to feel. I think I'm gonna go with the one that I saw before, and if not... Don't know what I want to give him. I'm literally, like, so out of whack, like, I don't know. I kind of dig this. I kind of like it. Alright, we're gonna go with that, because it's the only one that I've somewhat liked. So, we're gonna go with this. And we're gonna give him something that covers his arms, because it's... His arms are kind of freaking me out. Teen Sims have always looked so awkward and they make me uncomfortable. And just... Uh, mm. No. I don't like it. So, the shirt section loaded. I'm probably going to go for something from university. Just because those are like the best outfits available. Unless I have like good custom content teen wear, which I don't think I have. So, never mind. Am I sure that there's nothing nice? Hmm. I wish, like, there was, um... Oh, God, those jeans! Holy goodness! That is not okay. That is not okay. We have to change all of this. All of it. Um... I see a lot more Island Paradise than I do University, so I think I'm gonna go with something like this. That doesn't look so lame. Can I get something that doesn't look lame? Ordering that on the menu, please. What expansion pack came with outfits that were okay for teenagers? Because I see none. Like, literally none. Are there jean awesome looking jean jackets? No. Just these ugly vests. <sighs> okay, we're gonna give you a t-shirt, honey boo, because clearly there's nothing else going for this game right now. Sorry about that. We're gonna give you... Some what looks like something cheese pizza would wear. Not that. Certainly not that. I feel like you would wear cats. Um, or just a, just a white shirt. I see- or maybe black, because I kind of liked the black on him. Not too fancy. We'll give him this. We'll change the jeans. Why is- why are the jeans under metal material? I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, so now, um, please tell me there's diesel jeans. Apparently not. 
no diesel jeans for young teens. But we can give you these. These will suffice. I kind of like the khaki look on him. It doesn't look bad. So we're going to try to find Converse sneakers. I definitely know those are a thing. Yes, there they are. And I kind of like the red shoes. So we're going to go for something like that. There we go. You don't look horrendous anymore, Ziri. Congratulations. And I'll change all the other outfits off camera. I just don't want him wearing something like that stupid right now. So um, we are going to click on the trait that he just got which is the genius trait. I don't want him to have that. I want him to have adventurous. Um, I think it's somewhat fitting. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's just him. Yes, he's a clone of his father, but at the same time, I think it's nice that he, as he grows, he grows to be a little different and it works well. So that's exactly what I'm gonna give him. Adventurous, all his favorites and stuff can stay the same. And we are gonna continue on with the game. Woo, time to party. That was really unenthusiastic. I know, I'm not a party girl, it makes sense. Okay, so now that he is this age, and girl, look at that booty. He gonna flirt with you as- oh, Wow, dang girl! What on earth are you- <laughs> You was all up in his grill! Literally, what the heck? And um, I can imagine what he's thinking right now. He's like, he's like, <laughs> he looks shocked. He's like, uh, honey, what you doing though? I know people ship us together, but still. Um, so we are going to, I guess, you know what? R wrong person. That was really awkward. I was doing that from actual, like, Reuben and not cheese pizza. But let me see real quick. He can't actually talk to her? Oh, that is so disappointing. Oh, okay, so we're just, I guess, gonna get all, like, flirty with her now that we can be. It's like, hey girl, I'm a teen now. So, like, the people who ship it, they can really ship it now. Really ship it. And I am going to um, use move objects on and delete this birthday cake before anyone tries to make a mess of dirty cake slices on my lot. I will not permit it. I know it's a birthday party, but you guys all brought food. You can eat whatever other crap you brought here, just not this birthday cake. Cake, 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 cake. Yeah, I'm not actually gonna end up singing that song, but it seems like these people are all doing a dance routine off in their corner over here. So, and now that he is a teen, I want him to actually like be able to flirt with her so we need to call her over here come on girl come on yeah. hey girl hey girl how you doing I, and i know you went to that freaky stuff because you took them pictures of ethan and cassie the other day i don't know why all of a sudden i feel like cheese pizza went through puberty and i'm giving him that creepy voice <laughs> that is scary but it seems like everyone's having a decent time, so that's nice. Um, someone really needs to go feed Spider-Man. I don't think Spider-Man wants to eat spider webs at the moment. So come on over here, um, Auden, and go feed your child. Go give her a bottle or something. Just feed her. Give us some food. And Cassie is still at work. Hopefully, like, this brings up her, like, work performance a lot. I mean, I want her to get the promotion in this LP. I don't want to finish this LP without her getting the promotion, but at the same time, I don't want to take forever with this LP just waiting for her to get a promotion. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. But anyway, um, Cassie's just at work, so whatever, we can ignore that. Head back to the house! Zoom in all the way over there. Lag, 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 lag. There we go. Now we're home. So, alright. That's nice. Um, he He's turned into the age that I wanted him to be. Ethan, go inside before you die. Okay, our child's gonna die. Our child's actually gonna die, and Ethan needs to come inside or something. And there we go. How awesome. How very, very awesome. Cheese pizza, where you at? Are you actually gonna flirt with her now? Yes, you is, honey! Yes, you is. And, like, all the little kids are now laughing at them, like, Ew, like, what are they doing? And you know what? Since it's his birthday, screw that. Get into that heat of the moment, kiss boo-boo. Get into it. He's not scared of anything. He's not scared of anything. He knows this is gonna go in his favor. And yes, and so it begins. Cheese pizza and Auden. The Chauden ship. <laughs> see, Chauden ship, see what I did there, see what I did there. Okay, and um, let's pretend this little boy isn't like freakishly watching us in the corner. I want him um, to propose going steady. So he's going to give her an amorous hug, do a few like nice interactions, just have them be like really nice to each other, finally conf confessing their childhood um, crushes to each other. And aw, that's really cute. 
We're gonna just fast forward through it. <laughs> so I'm so weird. I'm like, it's so cute. Now let's fast forward through it. Okay, and now I'm hoping that he can propose going steady. No, we can't just yet. Okay. And let's just try something one more time. Do just like a kiss. A, a nice normal little kiss, please. Okay, well that's that's a kind of into it kiss. I, I asked for normal. Okay. So now that that is done, we are gonna do romantic and he's awesome party makeout. Okay, well we'll do that after you propose going steady. And then we're gonna do that other thing. So where's awesome party makeout? <laughs> oh god. And then they could just watch the stars so we can concentrate on some other sims. So awesome party makeout begin which i'm sure is just make out but it says awesome party because he is um a party animal so yeah they're just gonna go over here and make out let's go into the house and auden definitely knows what's going on she just peeked out the window i saw you honey you're pretending to ignore and letting him have his moment um and wow you guys really are all enjoying john i didn't even who invited johnny jones who invited Johnny Jones? Isn't this gate supposed to like lock people we don't want out of the house? I don't even know. Okay, well, we can let that be, I guess. And I want someone to put away um, all of this good food. Oh no, not you. Dang it, you're the birthday boy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. You can do some work. And something I want to do since this is a late night LP now that everyone's gone, I'm gonna that's not the bed I wanted to throw in actually oops wrong one we're gonna throw in this bed over here and this is where the butler is going to sleep because we are gonna hire a butler even though we're actually unusually poor I forgot about that let's sell some of the stuff we have in here and see if that helps so we're gonna sell the old girl's crib we can sell this crib this 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 can go away I don't care I can sell this door and I think that's most of the stuff that we can sell Oh, these are the, those paintings that we got as anniversary gifts before, so we're going to keep those. And now I think we can afford the butler. Awesome, so we're going to do that um, if the game lets me. So Auden is going to go pick up that phone. Pick up the phone, honey. Pick up the phone. And I literally just made up that song. So let's see, you're going to pick that up. And let's see, so if we scroll through here, there should be an option that says butler and it's 1,200 simoleons per week, which shouldn't be a problem because I'm pretty sure we make a lot more than that. It says, please make sure to have a bed arranged for me um, as I will be living at your place. Good day. So um, I guess we can't set it as the butler just yet because we don't know who our butler is, but I'm kind of hoping our butler is Chadwick. I think his name was Chadwick, but he was always my favorite and me and my friend used to love him so hoping i get him and i've kind of been leaning back and out of the camera this whole time haven't i shows you how into that i am but cassie now has a new work outfit which i can show off as we end the part so this is what cassie looks like not as ratchet as this girl whose jeans are going through her uggs of course but here we are looking all snazzy in our business suit and i don't think that did anything for her work progress which kind of sucked we probably should have just stayed at work but without further ado i'm gonna end this part here guys thank you so much for watching um and i will see you guys all in the next part goodbye